many times in life that a product comes out that has the potential to change a lot of things and have a lot of collateral damage. This, ladies and gentlemen, and people from around the world watching from the planet Pluto, is one of those products. This is one of those products that I don't know the long-term impact of, but boy, I tell you what, it's quite interesting, isn't it? It is definitely quite interesting. So today, my patron, James L, says, Rudy, you know what? Slap me across the face, put me in the Thunderdome, and uh, let's see what happens. So this is... Yeah, well, look at that logo. Isn't that pretty cool? Look at that. Isn't that just neat looking? It's like lava cracking through. So this is my first experience <laughs> ever seeing opening. Oh, look, it's like a little it's like a little hammock. You can play and bounce your little fun. You can play tether balls. Okay. So the, I like the smaller packaging. Um, okay, so you do get a... Hey, the box stopper's not damaged. Isn't that a big thing? So 24 packs instead of 36. Okay. Right? No? Yeah. Or is it 36 still? No, um, no, that's looking like about 24. I didn't, maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, so apparently the list is the big thing. So let everybody know, obviously, we don't discuss any financial value on the... Wow, that, that pack opened really easily. We don't really discuss any financial value when I first crack these things. I just like to experience it. I am not familiar with the spoilers. I don't know what's valuable, so feel free to wreck me in the comments. So the art series is back from Mooder and Horizons. Very nice. How many are there? 81 this time. I like the new full art. Very nice. Okay, so there's no rare in the front. So it goes back to the old... Um, okay, so the commons are just normal. There's less commons. Okay. And uncommons. This is the showcase frame, huh? A little uh, hedron, little diamond look. That's pretty cool. All right, wait. Hold on. So we're back to uncommon. Wait, uncommon, then back to common? All right, super strange. So we have a foil rare, a magmatic channeler, very interesting. And uh, so every pack is a foil, right? We have this infamous, I heard about these flip lands. And we have, I don't know what this is, a token, right? But that's not a token on the side. It's just advertisement. And so a flip card, beautiful artwork. But that in foil, that'd look amazing. So I'm not, I'm assuming you just choose which way to play it since there's no casting cost on either side. And I'm going to take it, wait, that has two little... Two little plus signs in the corner. This has one. Do you have to play the first and flip it? I have no idea. So I don't see any casting costs or activation, so I'm assuming you just kind of choose what side. It's like a choice or something. Wow, that's a nice island. Very cool. And then we go to com. That's so... Wait, they're all... Okay, so those are all reds. Is there an order? And then this one's two, three uncommons. And we got flip cards again. Uh, I'm, I was, I'm always a big fan of flip cards. It always does make me happy. Not sure of the order here. I can tell there's some sort of pattern for the order. Um, and these are advertising. This is just advertising on both sides. That's interesting. And Cliffhaven with a foil common and some sort of relic. Kicker indestructible relic. Uh, okay. Hmm. Like I said, I love experiencing a product and not just following every spoil. This is so exciting. This is my favorite part. And is this is, I believe this is the one where you can get the gold sign cards by the artists, but we haven't seen one yet. Uh, I'm, I am happy they finally did new art, though, on the Zendikar. I was hoping they wouldn't reuse the same art, you know? I was kind of like, please don't just reuse the same art again. I don't understand the uncommon. So they do two uncommons, but then why does it go back to a common? And then another common. Then it goes to the rare in the foil common. And that is a cold snap card. Okay, so this is a card from the list. If I missed some of the I might have already missed some cards in the list. Hope's Demise. Not familiar. Foil Common. And a Scred for all the way back from Cold Snap. I remember that card. And the only difference is, I guess it has the... What's the date? Oh, it just says 93 to 2006. So it doesn't even say 2020. But it has the logo. That's interesting. So we, that's our first card from the list. Very interesting. Another basic one. Foil. Okay, beautiful. So they do fill that slot with a foil instead of putting it in the back. It's an extra foil. And then we have the Commons. Hey, wait, hold on. So I'm screwing this up completely. This is a terrible. So there's an uncommon right in the middle. And then we're uncommon. Wait, a bunch of uncommons. Tangled Florahedron. That's pretty sweet looking. That's really nice. Oh, the flavor is really nice. Very happy with that. Ooh, what is this little guy? Whoa, what are we? This is... All right, so what the heck do we got here? First, we got the Soul of the Wild. Uh, we have a mythic here. Power Tufts, Eagle Number, Lands. Not Forest, just Lands. Okay. Non-Token Creature Control are Forest in addition to... Okay. Uh, five drop, that's probably worth something right now. Uh, mythic number one. 
And this is a non-flip. This is our first one. Brush Fire Elemental. Foiling looks nice. Kind of, eh, it's okay. Nothing exotic. And what the heck is this? Uh, when a player reveals, what am I looking to win? What am I looking at? What the heck is this? Magic mini game. Holy crap, I need to pay attention to the news. Magic mini board. I don't even know what that is. Okay. <laughs> wow, I am way out of the loop here. And common, uncommon, 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 uncommon. Holy smokes, the whole pack is uncommons. So three, five uncommons, six uncommons, six uncommons and two commons. Roiling vortex for the rare. Whoa, and two. Holy crap. In a four. All right, so I'm starting to understand pretty quickly why these set boosters are pretty epic to open. And I'm starting to understand, wow, that is beautiful. Great work on the artist. Who drew that? David, man. Great work, David. She looks gorgeous. Um, I can, I'm can. starting to see why the hype is towards collector boxes and these things. This is crazy for a regular box. So, obviously, if the supply wasn't a joke and you could actually buy them, um, Thief of the Heartbeats for a regular rare, and then we've got ourselves just a foil common. Holy crap, no way. The Goblet. I remember this card. Back in the Fifth Dawn Dark Steel era. Holy crap, and it looks exactly how I remember it. And it just says 2004 at the bottom, 93 to 04. Um, that's our second card from the list. Oh, so one was a common. So I'm assuming there's a predetermined amount of cards you get from the list. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. And how do they determine how many common uncommons? The split variants. So three commons, three uncommons. A common. Looks pretty wild, though. And then we got this these pathways. So I'm assuming these pathway lands is the... That's a pretty interesting concept. I really do like that. It's a nice little change of pace, but um, being a rare in a set like this, I would not recommend putting your money into it. That's all I have to say about that. No priest and a foil uncommon. These arenas are a code here? No, this is just, okay. And so, so you can get multiple rares per pack. And some of these don't even have barely any common cards. That's quite interesting. So one, two, three, this one's three commons. And four, four uncommons, four commons, five commons. Master of Winds, she looks gorgeous, very happy. That looks pretty cool, very happy to see something neat like that. We got the old takedown for a foil uncommon and turns into a land. Or wait, turns into a land or do you just choose it? I guess you can, wait, so you can choose whether you play it as a basic land, but it comes into play tapped, of course. Or wait, instant, so you have to pay the, I don't even know. You have to pay that to convert it over? Super confusing. Okay, I need to pay more attention. I'm sure everyone's going to light me up in the comment section. Beautiful island. Love that. Beautiful. And arts are the art. I'm impressed by the art. Nice feel. Card quality. Holy crap. Look at that. Felidor. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Those colors. And foil. That'll probably blow my taco. Goodness gracious. Oh, look at the pickaxe. That's pretty cool hanging down. And who are you? Skyclave Ravager, huh? Uh, Hydra. Hydra. Every time I think Hydra, I'm like, well, there goes the financial value. All right, and oh, that was a foil common. Popular formats of math. So what is this? Trying to get people to show like the different methods of playing? That's really new. We have I have not seen that style before. Like these whole mini game base race. Like I just don't. I don't know. That's that's kind of crazy. All right, and we got another art card. Beautiful. I like the full arts. Very pretty. Very very nice. All right, art the theme overall and the art style of Zendikar looking very nice. Ooh, Mind Drain. She looks epic. That looks pretty cool. And Mull of Skyclaves in a foil common. And an equipment. Look at this, dude. Okay. So, very interesting. I can, I'm definitely, wow, we have, if I missed a gold signature, I don't think I've seen any gold signatures. I thought they were pretty easy to get. Maybe not. A common, uncommon. I know there's got to be a pattern to these common uncommons. I am just not following it. Holy crap. So a pathway is a full art pathway. Oh my god, that's beautiful. And a foil rare. And we got, hold on, a foil rare over here. And the foil rare Balith. So we got two foil rares and a mythic over here. Mr. Locust of Rage. The infamous Locust returns. Look at that casting card. Wait a minute. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, put a token? 
Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Am I reading this right? Wait, wait, wait. Every time you play a land after this, you get a 5-5 five, five token. You get a 5-5 five, five flipping little ooze monster for free. And then when other Nick controls eyes, deals three damage. Holy crap. Well, that's worth something. Like, is that the same one? No. That's This is the original Zendikar, right? That's not the new... I heard there's a new one. I was like, that sounds really familiar. I'm super confused on this. This is a really... Look at that art. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So... Is that the, that's the original, because that's the Battle for Zendikar symbol. Alright, whatever, moving on. Let's kind of, let's keep this going here. I want to just, this is a really fun experience for me. Ooh, beautiful elf wizard. Love that. That looks gorgeous. I am feeling this art. Is anybody else noticing the art is more gritty feeling? It's got more detail than some of the previous sets? I feel like it's been adjusted some. And what is the deal with the tip? Did we all forget how to play Magic the yu gi -Oh Like, during this whole lockdown, do we forget what to do? In a mythic, Fury of Ankum, uh, Minotaur Warrior, <laughs> boy, all these landfall mechanics, holy smokes, and a foil common. Yeah, I always thought landfall was a really, really strong mechanic. I really did. I always thought it was just a really cool, especially in the right decks. I mean, I always thought that was a very potent thing. All right, so let's see what we got here. Inscription of Ruin. Look at that sorcery. Holy saw ah, one of the choose one cards. I already like it. Any of the cards that are like choose something... I always felt are very cool. And all these mini game cards. Is this, I'm assuming the purpose of these mini game cards is because people don't get to go to their stores and they're trying to get people to play at home? Like new versions of Magic? Is that kind of what's happening here? All right, we got the Oblivion Null Priest. Okay. 2 1 Menace. God, Lee, you get, it's amazing what you get for two mana now and new products. And a, these double rare packs are stunning. Utility Knife and <laughs> no way. Flippin' War of the Spark, Uncommon Planeswalker. Alright, that's... So we've got four set cards so far from the list, I guess? Is that is that how this works? And... Okay. And going right to the Arch Priest of Iona. Okay, back to a lot of human... So this time Zendikar, there's no Eldrazi. Am I, am I getting this right here, Ever, ladies and gentlemen? So, oh look, it even tells you what is the list. One in four and it contains a hand-picked card. Okay. All right, so I want to make sure I got this right. I don't see any Eldrazi so far, unless I'm just getting bad luck, because I haven't seen any gold signed cards either. Oh, beautiful forest. So I'm trying to make sure we're on the same page. That looks pretty cool. And foil that. But I am really feeling the artwork, man. This awakening, huh? That's pretty cool. What's it look like on the back? So the land. I like how it's like you can choose a spell or a land. That's pretty interesting. This looks a little faded, but that's okay. It's just a common. All right, so we're halfway through this box one. Obviously, you guys can tell I'm going a lot slower because this is my first time. I like to experience everything with you all. Starting to get a little bit of a better hang of just how the order and the packs are, but very interesting. We got the split current. And again, God knows what the values and the cards are worth right now because everything changes so quick until this the whole product stabilizes. You really can't put much into it, you know. And the fact this product is, of course, Wizards having supply problems, as always. Flip it and it's like, it's all right, we got supply problems. Let's just keep pumping out products and nothing catches up. <coughs> Unbelievable. So, was this like an all merfolk elf pack? Hmm. Paragon elf, huh? Paragon elf is also a cleric, a rogue, a warrior. That's interesting. And foil common, rapid bite. What's with all the cards to play? What is with this stuff like your live? Like, that's really weird. So I thought you get gold signature cards. Am I missing the gold signature cards? Maybe I just can't see them. Maybe my am, am I just screwing it up? I'm probably wrecking this video. Base camp. It's so crazy. So this whole pack is uncommons. One, two, three, four, five, six, six uncommons. Rudy the Ox, and then three commons. Holy smokes, that's crazy. Guide Beast. Pretty one drop. Okay. This combination should play Return of Landing Control. Jeez. Okay. Yikes. First turn, huh? And here we go. Old school, original Zendikar, trusty machete. I remember that. Yeah, the lo the uh, that's what it was. Locus of Rage was battle for Zendikar. This one's original Zendikar. Okay, that's uh that's definitely some spice in the face. And art card and a bunch of common uncommons. Now we're getting the feel of this a little better. All right, and Forsaken Monument. What the heck is this little guy? This looks pretty cool. We got a mythic, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, all colorless creatures. Wow. 
And every tap turn four, colorless. Oh my god, they brought back the waste mana from uh, Oath of the Gatewatch. Okay, so colorless mana produces double, and you get life. Wow. Okay, that seems like it'd be a pretty good mythic. That's probably worth something right now. I bet the pre-orders for that little guy aren't very cheap. And whoa, that is a knight. Look at that melon! Slap my Dwea tethered. Look at that melon! It's flipping amazing looking. Of course, it wouldn't be Magic the Gathering without another version of Negate. I know, right? How many times can we print certain cards over and over? Another mole right there and a Felidar. Look at the kitty cat. Oh, that's cool. I like it. Foil uncommon, and that's it. Yeah, I can definitely, uh, I can definitely, whoa, we finally got one. Okay, that stands out a lot more than I thought it would. That's the signed artist card. Is it like textured? A little bit, okay. Does it say signed or anything? Okay, that's interesting. So we got one, one signed artist card. Okay, I thought they were a little easier to get. Inscription again, and a fissure. Oh my goodness, really? Coveted flipping peacock? Mr. Peacock, really? For those of you watching in your house and your family's outside the room, we pulled a peacock! Good lord, a conspiracy two. Seriously, conspiracy two take the crown and you print peacock? Ooh, that's a nice planes. This is this is a heck of a roller coaster. What a product, Skyclave Shade. Looks like the flipping, what is this thing, like some Star Destroyer? Okay. And, but God, there's foils on that. Look gorgeous. And these mini games. This is a crazy time. What a product. And, God, lay. Flipping beautiful. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right. Point take. Whoa. Beacon of Unity. We got another mythic over here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that casting cost. Either two colorless or you can pay a specific color. Okay. Cost one less to cast for each creature in your party all right it, wait is that a double mythic pack that's a double mythic pack ancient green warden uh six drop five seven reach play land oh boy play lands from your grave there's i already know that's an expensive card play lands from your graveyard anytime i hear stuff like that all i hear is shenanigans incoming and whoa hey look rudy the twister that's nice anytime i hear some sort of manipulation of wow that looked really cool look at her it looks pretty amazing and holy smokes, okay, what the heck, look at this pack, a grizzly fate from Judgment back in 2002, okay, and this is what Jace looks like, what is he, what is his face looks kind of weird, but okay, um, it's Jace, it's always going to have value, there are literally, no joke everybody, there are literally people out there who buy all versions of Jace, just because it's literally Jace. So every time I see cards like that, I'm like, well, there you go. River Glide, these pathways. So these pathways are the big wild card, huh? Oh, wait, you know what I just noticed? These pathways don't say island. And that doesn't say mountain. Ah, all right, all right, I get it. All right, I got it, I got it. The plot thickened. Oh, yeah, so there is, okay, there is a new locus, okay. All right, so this is not, I, I was like, I was, okay, there is a new one in the deck. We just haven't gotten them yet. All right, so I get the pathway lands now. And who is this guy? What is this pack? There's so many foil common in a rare conundrum. And what is this? Awakening Mythic Triple Black before you even get to your X. And it's a flip to a land. And then the bottom, Triple Black Source. Oh, it just saves the casting cost on the back? Or does that mean you can pay that to flip it? I don't know. Holy crap, Rudy doesn't even know what's going on anymore. And, oh, that's, whoa, that's, boy, they stepped up their game on the art cards, didn't they? Boy, did they, did they really step up, oh, Lotus Cobra's back. And, oh my god, really? Odds and ends, flipping, was this Dissension from original Ravnica era? Seriously? I can't believe Lotus Cobra's back. Well... This has been an interesting experience, to say the least, everybody. Holy smokes, did I not mentally prepare for what kind of video this was going to generate. And we are down here. We are looking at a foil rare. We got the lithoforming. Double red before we get you your X and your foil. And we got ourselves an undo inversion. Interesting how the, all the spells will convert to lands. Boy, that, that land theme in Zendikar. Pretty spicy, everybody. Very last pack of this box right here. And um, let's just kind of see what happens. 
We got the old Relic, Robert. Oh, did I skip a rare? I feel like I may have skipped a rare. Did I? Was that the same one? Did I skip a rare? No, maybe not. I thought I did. Never mind. And a foil Ascentic. Yeah, sorry, everybody. I am definitely, uh, I'm a little stumbling on this thing. I was not expecting. This is a very interesting product. Oh, I guess I should actually open the box topper because I forgot the box topper on the first box opening there. So, yeah, I guess we should open that. All right, so the box topper is where you get the fetch land, right? This is the fetch land thing everyone's talking about. These foil, they, wait, are they foil? We got, whoa, ancient tomb. All right. Um, new artwork. Nice framing. Looks better in person. So these are all, I guess we'll open both of them. So, okay, so it's a list. It's not just a fetch. Oh, baby, Misty Rainforest. Okay. So that looks really nice. So how many are there? There's 30. Okay, so you can, there's one of 30. So obviously there's only 10 fetch lands. Assuming they, you can get all 10 and 10 shock lands. I, can, I see what's going on here. And four. God, that looks nice. Okay, everybody. Well, Ruby's continue to stumble. Oh my god, look at that. Full art. Holy smokes. See, I just caught on a few minutes ago that the pathways don't actually have the basic land and name attached to the card. So I'm assuming you cannot fetch them. Is it what the heck is is that my ex? Like, so that's the catch here. Who are you? Scourge of the Skyclaves. Whoa. That's a two drop, and you can kick it later in the game if you have extra mana. Wait a minute, power of toughness equal to twenty minus the highest life. To <laughs> well, there's some shenanigans if I've ever seen. And we got Shadow Stinger for the foil uncommon, and we have a set. Oh my god, relentless rats! Flipping tenth edition, not even M10, actual tenth edition. This is a whack. Hey, we finally... God, these are a lot more tough. These are way tougher than I thought to get for the artist signed cards. I thought it was like every other pack. That is nowhere near every other pack. We got Skyclave over here. Foil Common and... What's with the promo cards? Can somebody explain to me? Did I'm telling you, Wizards thinks we all forgot how to play Mujik the Ugly Owing. Like, they're having like how to play the game all of a sudden. All these packs. Like, what's the deal with that? Crawling Barons. Okay. Uh, all right, does not come into play tap. That's the first thing I always look for. And all right, pay some colorless, pop some one one counters. Oh, on crawling barons. Then you have become into okay, interesting. And we got ourselves a foil Rudy the Squid. Like, this is crazy. What is this? Oh, a library. Oh, I'm gonna write out of Alexandria right below that. Oh, it's a kitty cat, you know, like this is well. Whoa, that is, that, ooh, boy, they, ooh, boy, the art on this. I gotta admit, Rudy usually complains about the art in other Crawling Barons, Royal Mage. I usually complain about the art, everybody, but I gotta admit, I am not complaining about the art. I am very impressed by the artist in the, the style. I mean, this looks really Shadow Verdict. Exile all player, three or less, within return of that. All right, okay. Was that, was that phasing? Exile all there, convert a man three or class, and then all creatures of the planet are convert a man card three or less from. No, it's not phase. I thought it was bringing back. What the heck is this? All right, don't even know what this is. Throne of Rudy's making something. Uh, foil rare land, charge counters. All right, and removing charge counters from it, and you can pop a two man of any one color. Only cast kicked spells. Eh. It's a little restrictive. I'm not really a big fan of that mana. You can only use it on kick spells. I don't like that restriction. That card's probably not going to do garbage. Everyone's like, Rudy, oh my god, it's so adorable. Everyone's like, Rudy don't even know how to play magic. He just says a garbage card. Watch, everyone's going to lose their mind. Ah, Song Mad Treachery turns into the Ruins. I am liking those flip cards. And we got ourselves a nice little Archon action there. Yeah, this was definitely a more complicated, longer video than I had uh, mentally prepared here for, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely a pretty interesting these pathways. It's like those triumphs in Aquaria, man. Oh, oh, these pathways look so nice. All right, so into the royal and chronicler. Okay, all right, folks. So we're down to about the last sixteen packs around here on box two. Um, I get it. I can already see what's going on here. I can I can highly see Soul Shatter. Very cool card in a battle of wits from core 2013 who the heck decides 
what goes on the list for randomly reprinting cards. Like, who the heck is in charge of that? There are some of the most bizarre... Lotus Cobra. And Scute... Scute Swarm? What is this? Who are you? Three drop, one, one, landfall. Okay, here we go. Popping lands in the battlefield. You get more one, one insects. You control six or more lands. Create a token that's a... Co Wait a minute. If you control six or more lands, create a token that's a copy of this card? Wait a minute. Is this like some sort of like little bug? You can make a million bugs and just wreck the system? I'm getting some weird vibes from that immediately. And that, but I could be wrong. Don't bash me in the comments. Again, I don't know how to play Magic. And Skull Charger and... Oh my goodness. An, is that an Ixalan card? No, what is that symbol? I don't even know what that symbol is. I don't even remember what that's from. All right. Wow. What a video, everybody. What a video. Definitely a very strange video I was not prepared for. Nighthawk Scavenger. Foil common, and that is it. Yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, this is going to be a very successful product. Uh, similar to Jumpstart, I definitely did not give this enough credit. Everybody was asking about it. I was like, dude, it's, don't worry about it. We'll get Oh, my God. Is that a Kamigawa card? Ever mind? I remember that art from like a million years ago. I swear that's a Kamigawa card. I can't remember. And we got ourselves Nimble, a Trap Finder, and a Foil Common. And again, I, I don't know expected value on these products. I don't know if it's considered really high, really bad. I don't really... And then again, how do you determine expected value? Look at this construct. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's made out of hedrons. That's pretty cool. And a oh, Swarm Shambler. Nice little fungus in your face. Um, like, how do you value this? Like, how do you determine? Because of the variable of the list thing, man, you're always... Oh, God, that's nice. How do you determine if the values swing so much because of the list pools? Awakening in a foil common. You guys see what I'm saying? Like, if you pull a couple cards from the list and they're all like a couple dollars, it's no big deal. But if you all of a sudden pull a box with a... Wow, that is really neat looking. Journey to Oblivion. Like, that artwork just cracks me up. You see what I'm saying? That makes it very difficult. But I've already told you all. I already thought mass box opening is dead. What are you doing? Mr. Leyline, huh? Tyrant. Four drop. You don't lose unspent... What? You don't lose unspent red mana as steps and phases end? What? You may pay in any amount. You may do it to deal... Okay. Man, there's some wacky cards. The standard, like, okay? Is this gonna, like... Oh, my God. Look at that art. Like, I feel like some of this crap is some serious shenanigans. Like, are people already doing some crazy stuff with this? They have to be. There has to be a lot of ridiculous shenanigans going on. The amount of weird mechanics and abilities is just insane right now. Like, this is crazy. Like, the amount of... I feel like there's so many weird things you could do with landfall on these cards. We got the, the trickster. Merfolk rogue trickster, huh? Oh my goodness, no way. Godsire from flipping Alara. Holy smokes, I haven't seen that card since I was knee-high to a grasshopper in the Taco Bell dishwashing pit. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Who... Did they just... Okay. Honestly, did they make a big board and just throw tacos against it? And that's how they determine the list. Fearless Voyager. What is going on? I I don't know what's going on with that card. Like, I feel like somebody literally spun the Wheel of Fortune and that's how they picked cards for the list. Like, how on earth did they determine what the heck to pick and not pick? Balath and a foil common. A little washed out looking on that guy. Well, we're down to the last couple packs, and boy, do I have a rambling mouth of a lot to say. Boy, what a what a crazy experience. All right, Maddening Canophony. Okay. And that's it. Yeah, I have a, I'm starting to think there may be a more... This is very interesting, but this is going to cannibalize the standard boxes big time, everybody. This is going to be a... This is a game changer. Relic Robber. This is... Oh, three rares in this pack? This is a flip, and one of them's a foil. This is a game changer, everybody. For those of you watching this late in the video, I know most of you are. This is a game changer, man. This is a substantial, this is maybe the biggest game changer and booster. Oh my god, look at that Lotus Cobra for that showcase art. Is anybody else not commenting or noticing how drastic of a change this is and what this is going to do to single card values or anything? This is insane. Holy crap. I mean, look at this. Shatter Skull Smashing. Nice little mythic here. And look at that, the hammer. Wow. 
Like, I'm sorry. Like, I know I only got a couple packs left here, but I just got to say this. This is a big deal. Like, no joke, you all. This is a big deal, man. Like, this is, this is a real, oh, we got a signed card. Until they, eh, I still think the signed cards, they're heading towards the, the artist sign, all this crazy stuff, but they're not there yet. Luminarch Aspirant in a field re, oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Can't, a flipping pet, a gate crash common. This guy's a gangster, he's got a necklace on. Are you serious? This is crazy, man. This is gonna, this is a game changer, man. Like, this is huge. Shadow's Verdict in a World Sculptor. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. I know my camera, this is a way, I thought this video was gonna be way shorter than what it is, but I'm gonna just see what we get in the last, what, two packs here? And uh, I don't want the camera to overheat here, but oh my goodness, this is, this is just, I, I have so many words and I'm just speechless right now. Because I'm sitting here thinking, what is the side effects of this Project Booster Pack fun? Thieving Skydive. A lot of mer folks, huh? Mer folk. Like, what does this do to the regular standard boxes? Are they going to phase out the regular boxes and replace them with something like this? Like, what the... Uh, branch... These pathways, man. How many... You get a lot of pathways in these openings. Yeah, but this isn't even an elevated boost. Like, this item isn't even really... Like, I... This isn't even the, I don't, I don't know, hold on, I don't know. Throwing a Makai and ending on a foil comment. Oh, 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 right in the back. Original Ravnica City of the Gil, oh my god, just it's just a combat. Well, I don't know how we did today. I mean, we got a Misty and a flipping Ancient Tomb, right? I, you know, I just, I don't know. This is, this is a big deal, everybody. This is a big deal. I'm serious. I know no one's watching this late in the video, but this is a serious, like, I gotta spend some time thinking, like, this is, this is gonna cannibalize the standard box sales dramatically, and this is gonna change everything moving forward. Everything. 